Hi everyone, and welcome to The Good News. My name is Jeff Shively, and I'm your host. That'll be the first time I say that introduction because we're changing the name of the show, again, to Good News Daily. You can now see the show on goodnewsdaily.tv. Um, we've had a couple different names, Gratitude News, then Good News, then I think Kind News, and it's kind of changed around, but now we're going to Good News Daily because this is a show where we bring you three pieces of good news every day. It was for 90 days in the beginning, but I think we're at episode 25 now, so you can do the math. We have a few more to go. Um, and who knows? Maybe we'll go keep, keep going after that. We set a goal to go 90 days, so that's what we're going to do. Rain, snow, or shine. Good news daily. Welcome. My name is Jeff Shively. I'm your host. Reporting to you live-ish from Williamsburg, Brooklyn, New York City. I say live-ish because we just chop this thing and front and back off where you see me walk into the camera. And we upload it. All right. So we start off every show with a quote. Ours today comes from Henry David Thoreau, legend. It is the marriage of the soul with nature that makes the intellect fruitful and gives birth to the imagination. Pretty awesome. Reminds us how important it is to get out into nature and also because while we are in a metropolis in the urban jungle Gotham here right now, this is, this is nature. We're experiencing nature. So it's definitely changed the way this show goes and things I think of and do and uh, it's one of the reasons why we decided I guess to do it outside it it makes it uh, makes it different it makes it weird it makes it wonderful so pretty pretty neat little quote all right and that quote uh, it was a recommendation from my friend Katie thank you very much Katie for that quote all right first show first uh, first piece of news good news today comes from uh, London where a man was boarding a flight a flight to New York City, and he gave his first class seat to an 88-year-old woman named Allison. He saw this woman going to sit in economy, and he said, you know what, hey, would you like to sit in first class? And she replied, you're joking. And he was like, no, for real. And he swapped seats with her. And it was an awesome, like, it was a legit first class seat. This was like full lay bed, everything. And, uh, and she loved it, she had a great time. This was documented by a flight attendant named Amy, who posted on Facebook, and it went viral. And she said she served models, star, super uh, movie stars, musicians, and they were her two favorite, uh, her two favorite uh, flight patrons so far. And additionally, what I thought was really cool was she said that the man, once he was in economy, he uh, he wasn't fussy at all. He didn't say anything to really ask for anything the whole flight. Didn't say I want this. I can I have extra drinks. Can I have free drinks? Whatever. Nothing. He just. They just went there and just chilled. And there's some really cute pictures of uh, of Allison just chilling in her bed and watching movies and having a great time in her international flight. So that's pretty awesome. All right, the next story comes from uh, comes from the New York area, where a couple of police officers went over and above to uh, save a woman's life. And it's really cool. This uh, these couple officers they got a call that there's a uh, a potential suicide and they just got a an area of Brooklyn where this was possibly happening in there was it didn't say a house an address nothing and they're like wait what do we do where do we find this so they just jumped into action they became investigators they became you know they're we hear all these service these, these stories about police police officers um, you know sensationalized bad news all the time but it's easy to forget that there's like the police are chartered and there to serve and there's actually some really good cops out there both of my grandfathers were cops and i've had some i've had some bad run-ins with cops for sure i've also had some really good experiences where police officers have helped me so anyway uh these two officers they jumped into action they called the person who reported it and uh they called it was another state and the gentleman had got note that his daughter uh was basically had sent a suicide note to a friend and he called it in but he didn't no one knew where he was or where she was so they went on, these two officers went on an investigation trying to figure out how they could find her. And they started checking hospitals. Luckily, she had not checked into a hospital. She had not tried to kill herself. But what they did find was they found that this, that a woman by this name actually had taken an ambulance to a hospital previously. And they backtraced, talked to the ambulance company, backtraced where she was picked up, went to the building and figured out that's where she actually was. And uh, from there, they were able to intervene get her the right kind of help she needed and uh this was years ago and she's still alive and 
by all accounts, sounds like she's doing well. This was an anonymous report, so we can't give any other details out than that, but it's pretty cool. Um, two officers doing going over and above where they could have just said, oh, sorry, we can't find the person, we don't know what we can do, and they actually intervened and saved someone's life. And, um, you know, it's uh, there's a lot, of, a lot of challenges in our world, and that's why we do this show. We're not gonna be blind to the challenges and to, you know, to the, to the, to the, to the bad news at times, but it's important to surface good news to remember that it's not all bad, not all cops are bad, and uh, there's some really good people out there doing great things. All right, our third show today comes from, uh, comes from a city in Russia where a thousand whales and orcas were released back into the wild. After being kept in whale jail, nicknamed whale jail, is this area where whales are captured and caught and held and sold illegally to capture legally and sold illegally to aquariums in other parts of Russia and the world. And authorities found out about this and they were able to uh, take control of the whales and slowly help them rehabilitate and release them over a period of about a year back into the wild. So these, re these, uh, these whales have been rehabilitated and they're going back into the wild and uh, it's a pretty beautiful thing. There's a lot of cool animal stories. It was very hard to pick that one and I uh, hope to report on more. So that's the good news for today. Thank you very much for joining. We've got some shout outs. All right, we got a different lighting setup tonight, so it's a little challenging to read them to kind of hunker down here. Anthony, thank you for the uh, thank you for the story submission. Use it, appreciate you. Jeff Green Beanie Crew, what's up, man? Nice to meet you. Uh, Mike and Rochelle, thanks for watching, spreading the good news. Metal, yeah, man. Crash Space, Nuri, Bo, JT's mom, thank you so much for supporting. Can't wait to see what you're sending. Sheener, uh, Ashley, Laura Dickinson, and uh, she has a cool thing called Kinda Kind. Uh, cool, a cool account and a cool movement called Kinda Kind. Thanks, Ashley, for the support. Look forward to meeting you. Sarah, Megan, thank you. Jill, Karen, thanks for the shout out last night. Appreciate you. Ashley, Nico, and Lisa. All right. Thanks so much for watching. Be well.